This is like the first ever YouTube video I've ever like really attempted to do. I literally, like today's Sunday and I literally got a GoPro like last Thursday. So I've just kind of always wanted to give this a try. And I finally like broke down and was like, oh, I'm gonna do it. So I'm, I'm about to take this little cut up this way and hop down into a little creek that drops off over there and i want to try to make a fishing video hopefully y'all keep watching Got my first fish on YouTube. And it's a beautiful red eye bass. Come on, boy. Oh, this is why I come to these little creeks right here. He ate the crap out of it, too. I don't even really have to set the hook. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna need the pliers for this guy. <laughs> but what he ate on was this little Gary Yamamoto crawl. I think it's called Fat Baby Crawl. And I really didn't have to set the hook on him. I don't know if y'all can see that. That's a little cotton mouth right there. So we're gonna take a different way. Got one. Ooh. Dang, buddy. So, just got a red eye. Yeah, it's a red eye. But, look at that eye. The other one's fine. But, that one's dead. Or just torn up. But, I'm catching fish. That's the second one I've caught today but the water is like really high and really muddy so i don't know how it's gonna be today i'll just go ahead and switch this crawl out it, missing a appendage but i know i'm not really catching big fish and today's probably gonna suck but i'm still probably gonna post this video because when I said I want to get this camera and all that, I kind of made a mental note to myself to, you know, no matter what, I want to start posting these videos. Because I spent the money on this, so I want to give it a shot. So even if I just catch small fish, which is it's okay, but I know y'all want to see like, <laughs> bigger fish. Now, most people would kind of walk past this in a creek setting. Like, not a whole lot of fish would be in here. But I have caught some red eyes in this little pool. I got one right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a good creek bass. <laughs> oh, look at that buddy right there. Man, that's a good bass out of here. No pork. 
this creek right here, this is a pretty decent bass. So. You know, I might actually have some good luck today. Got one. Well, that's a big old green sunfish. <laughs> Pretty audacious for that. Got another one. Another big old green sunfish. Look at that one. Got that whole crawl in his mouth. bass right here whoo this is a nice red eye he hit it when I was about to pull it back in yeah this is a very good red eye right here they're not known this is just their name, but you can generally tell like a red eye from the silver behind his eye and the white tips on the bottom right here. I don't know if you can see that. So this is like one of my favorite places on earth. And it's this rock wall out here on this little bitty creek. And you would never think this was here, considering like how small this creek is, but it's so overgrown, but it goes way up there. You gotta have to walk on the other side of the creek to really tell how big this rock wall is. But I wanna, I usually stop here, take me a little break, eat me a little lunch. And I'm gonna charge up my battery because it's at like 13% right now. So <laughs> I'll probably start the video back when I uh, catch another fish. Got one. Come on. Dang. He got it bent over, don't he? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm on a stick, I'm on a stick. Get off the stick, get off the stick. How did that happen? Oh, thank God. Another good red eye. Another good one. Got him. I saw him come up and eat it. Not a big one. No means. Ooh. Oh, God. My reel just messed up. But it's a good one. Whoa. Look at that bass. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know what happened to my reel, 
but this one it's a pretty good one I'm probably gonna take my GoPro off and show y'all this is a pretty good uh, bass out of this creek it's an Alabama bass I'm gonna put it back in when I'm connected to the creek I am I'm on is connected to the Cava River and the Cava River has its own flowers called the Cava lilies and their version of uh, spider lilies if I'm correct but the Cahaba lilies generally bloom around spring time, around June, like the end of June, the end of spring, or the beginning of June. And I'm not particularly sure this is a Cahaba lily, but they do, uh, they do grow in this creek. So I just don't know if that's, they have a different time they grow on this creek than the Cahaba River, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I've found them on this creek, but not during this time of year. Not, not now, not in the summertime. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo. Another Alabama bass. Come on. Mm. So I am I figured out what was wrong with my reel. So something broke within the bearings inside the reel, I think. I think that's what they're called. But <laughs> so I switched it to the left side and that's a lot smoother. It still has a little bit of a clink. It's still kind of hard to reel them in, but I still can reel them in better than on the right-handed. But I am no means ambidextrous because I'm I miss like four fish like that setting the hook and reeling them in. Like I'm just I'm struggling with it for right now. Here we go. Come on. Oh, my real. Oh, I'm gonna have to hand him in. <laughs> Come here, boy. Come on, man. <laughs> this is so sad. I had it. Hand this fish in. <laughs> My reel just shattered again. <sighs> nice little red eye. Oh. Well, that <laughs> didn't go this, man. Just look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. It. I'm piecing like a, a black pa plastic piece broke in this thing. And now I'm pretty much going to have to end up this video with my, with that being the last fish. Cause I can't keep fishing like this. This is terrible. So I figured I should do like another outro, but I hope this focuses in, but this piece right over here, the black piece was I think was just destroying the inside of it or like one piece of it broke and it just chewed up the inside and now it can't really like reel right anymore I was reeling a little bit when it broke but now I think I just messed it up 
trying to keep going. And I think I just destroyed this reel trying to keep on going. It, but it's not an expensive reel. It's a loose speed spin 100. And it, it's caught me some pretty nice fish on it. It lasted longer. Pretty good. I destroy spinning reels. But I can say I had a pretty good day of fishing. Even though my reel broke. Um, this is what I was using. Uh, a Gary Yamamoto Fat Baby Crawl. And I only got two of them left. And I think that's a pretty good day of fishing. Caught a bunch. Caught several, uh, two real good ones. One of That one broke my reel. So, but thank y'all for watching. If you watch this whole thing. And uh, I'll try to get a video out sometime soon.